all right guys today we're gonna be reacting to what do germans do for fun beer sucking bread for dinner this is a continuation of the last video uh i think uh mikhail i think he he closed the deal with the lady so hey toast for that but we're gonna react to more german videos again guys make sure you like to subscribe we're getting close to that 4,000 subscriber guys so i'm gonna really we're gonna really really appreciate before we start this video you simply just click subscribe to the button you click subscribe all right in the meantime guys let's just jump in and see what's going on so far we've watched misael wake up in the morning and we've joined him as he commutes works and flirts his way through a day at the office but what's next So now that work's out of the way, what does Michel get up to in the evening? Does he have any hobbies? What does he have for dinner? Mm. Is he going to get a little tipsy? Let's find out. I found him. I think I see him. Hey, I think we've got him. He's gone that way. What the hell? It's Friday, it's 4.30 p.m. and Michel's finished work for the week. Looks like he's off to play some football. This is Michel's friend, Lukas. Lukas asks Michel how his day was, and like 70% of Germans, he says it was typical. By contrast, Brits like me are more likely to say it was good. Yeah, the same with us, we always say it's good. Although for most Germans, the reasons for doing sport are not rooted in worldly pleasures. Most Germans do sport to stay healthy and to optimize mm -hmm. their physical strength. Mm -hmm. That was very close. That was close. Oh, you better, you better be on your toes. Yeah, that was, that was close. Michael finds a note from his neighbor. Probably Katrin, who's annoyed that someone in the building is having loud sex. Germans report also being annoyed by cigarette smoke, loud music, and DIY. The German love affair with bread knows no bounds. Yes, even after bread for breakfast and bread for lunch. You guessed it, the most common workday dinner is more bread. Yeah, but your bread is very nice. See, it's not as bad. The bread that you guys eat is not that bad. You don't, you don't feel uh, guilty by eating it. Known as Abendbrot, Germans top bread with sliced meat, cheese, and chopped veggies. I think Michel fancies a drink, but which one? Germans are the fourth heaviest drinkers in Europe, and TGIF, Michelle's having a beer. It's relaxing. Yes, Germans are known for their love of hiking, but according to the German Free Time Monitor, most leisure activities actually take place indoors. Germans enjoy watching TV, listening to music, browsing the internet, and being alone with their thoughts. They also like spending time with a romantic partner. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> no, dude. Don't overthink it, man. You can't overthink it. <laughs> but what the Germans wish they were it, bro. doing. Seventy-two percent of Germans wish they had more time for hobbies. Like dancing. Mmm. Kind of stiff, huh? You got to let it loose. Yeah, you. Uh, she tried. <laughs> it's 9 p.m., and Michelle's on the way to the Kneiper, basically the pub, to meet his friend Marius. Damn, 9 p.m.? Still light. Germans drink per capita 92 liters of beer per year, far more than any other alcoholic beverage. Hey. 
like 56% of Germans, Michael is stressed about spending his free time with people he doesn't like or finds boring. <laughs> Germans sit relatively low on the getting drunk scale. As an average German, Michael gets drunk almost 11 times per year, which is considerably less than the 26 times per year the average Australian gets drunk. God damn, wow, you saw that. But judging by the twinkle in Michael's eye, it looks like tonight could be one of those 11 times. Uh oh. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Do not do it, man. Don't, don't, don't do it, Mikael. You, you, you seem like a good guy, man. If you can walk home, just walk home, man. Don't, don't, don't grab a scooter. It's not gonna be pretty. Thirteen percent of Germans have ridden an e-scooter while drunk. <laughs> Damn, that's kind of high. Luckily, Michael is an average German, so he refrains. <laughs> Looks like our Michel is going to have a sore head tomorrow. But what's he going to do with the rest of his weekend? How does he survive when the shops are closed on Sundays? And will he ever text Julia back? Like and subscribe. Oh. For more average German. Yeah, well, what's up? With, what's up with him, right? He just went at it like he didn't care. Well, it's very interesting. If you honest, I will say this is me, right? But Miguel just having a very, nah, he, you know, it's like an average millennial lifestyle, right? Millennials are typically very uh, lonely. If you're 30 and up, and you haven't been ma get married, you have sons, you don't have family. It's, it's gets pretty lonely. It's very lonely. Um, why? I don't know. I don't know I, I, maybe it's just the world itself, not the world, but it's just nature itself telling you, like, okay, bro, you have to. Do something. Um, I don't know. Very. There's a good. There's a lot of good things about this video. First, uh, working out is very good. Modesty when it comes down to food. Drinking a beer just to relax. Um, those things, even. It doesn't look that big. It is very big. Um, modesty is so important when it comes down to lifestyles, and I think uh, you know. The average chairman understand that, I will say. Um, I'm wondering what will be the average German with a family. That would be very interesting to just compare the both of them. Mm, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys can uh, associate you guys? Do you guys can uh, identify with this video? Or you guys don't. Or do you guys uh, think this is all BS? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.